Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to Knights of Pen and Paper. In our last episode, we uh, delivered food from the King of Sunset Castle to uh, our new friends here at Shipwreck Cove, but we discovered that the food was poisoned. Um, and from there, we will continue on with our quest for the Deliver the Uncursed Potion. I knew it. Invasions are about to start soon. What? Invasions? We can't talk about them. Head to Sunset Castle and give this uncursed potion to the king. This potion shall purge the evil inside of him. Fine. Deliver the uncursed potion to the king. Which means we'll be fighting every step of the way in order to protect the potion. Which is okay. Uh, first off, naturally, we will vanish. Followed with the mighty leader strike. A weaken. The feral rage to begin stacking the damage over time effects. And a fireball for the same reason. We'll start laying in the double strikes from our rogue. And a holy shield from the paladin. With that, pretty much just start dispensing damage wholesale to our enemies. are sorted. 3,230 experience, 38 gold, and an experience potion, which we will immediately administer to our druid. Get him closer to being on par with all the other party members. Uh, traveling up. So as an update for what Behold Studios is currently working on their game Chroma Squad, it has been uh, added to Steam's Greenlight campaign. The game is now fully funded, um, and they're currently working on some stretch goals, which uh, the first stretch goal, I believe, is a, uh, a second campaign where you would actually take the role of a rider-style um, Sentai character. Uh, I think they're also doing uh, pre-purchases through... Amazon and the Humble Store. Um, so things are, are certainly looking up for this game. Uh, it'd be great if they managed to see through their uh, stretch goals. 172 experience and a gold. A gold. Well, I'm, I'm pretty excited for the game. It should be, uh, it should be a, some, some beta access available at the beginning of uh, October. Not sure if YouTubers are going to be allowed to broadcast such madness, but it'd be very wonderful if that were the case. When you reach Sunset Castle, the king is already outside, complaining about how hot it is today. This will be easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Hey king, are you up for a cold drink? Persuade roll. Oh yes, I am for sure. Glub glub. What is this? Should we wait? I guess so. Arg, it hurts. How did that happen? Did I get cursed again? Hmm, yes, but we kind of saved you. Quest done. Thank you again, adventurers. 50 gold and 16,395 experience and another experience potion. Which we will again immediately administer to the druid. And I think uh, we'll deviate from the main quest a little bit and we'll rescue the princess's sister. Please, adventurers, my sister has been captured by some evil forces. 
She has been taken to the Volcano of the Phoenix. Don't worry, my princess. We shall help your sister. Rescue my sister. She has been taken to the Volcano of the Phoenix. And off we go. And while we're traveling, I'm going to take a drink of my coffee. good infusion of go juice to make everything better. Defeat all two enemy waves to rescue the princess's sister. Will do. Really should have uh, gotten my sleep on while I was at Sunset Castle. I don't know. If I keep doing things like that, they'll probably revoke my, uh, or take back my Knights of Pen and Paper MLG jersey. We'll never be able to compete in the Intergalactic. Uh, let's see, I think we can just you know, have him beat on that guy for a minute. We'll holy shield up. Get him bleeding out a little bit. Laying with a double strike. Smote him mightily. More fire. And hopefully the leader strike will do it. Yep. 2,835 experience, 31 gold, and the phoenix. That looks like we're just gonna have to beat on him. Now I should have enough, uh, Magic points for a successful double strike come next turn. We will set the burning bird on fire. It may not make sense, but I certainly do not mind the fact that it can be damaged over time with fire. Uh, actually, use a circle of healing this time. Yeah. Darn near brought everybody back up to full health certainly does not break my heart. Victory, 2,667 experience for the party, 28 gold with an additional 55 gold for defeating an elite. Oh, lovely adventurers. I was so afraid of dying. You're safe now. Quest done. Thank you for saving me. 50 gold, 16,395 experience for the party, and a green target apple. And Let's see, We've got some sleigh missions. Uh, it looks like we are on our way back to Sunset Castle. And it's all random rolls, so we're not having to protect the princess's sister, who I guess would also be a princess. Maybe she's a duchess or something. It's it's tough to tell those kind of things. start getting into the heavy politico and my eyes cross promptly. Head to Shipwreck Cove once again and report what happened. Well, first we left Sunset Castle and then we fought some weird shovel-headed looking things at the beach. Hope someone out there is taking notes so that way we don't miss this when we report back to uh, the guys at Shipwreck Cove. And I really don't know why I'm wasting magic points on that. 172 experience and 1 gold.
There we go. Don't think I could have won that without Mr. Krabs there helping me. 2,934 experience, 31 gold, and an emerald necklace. Hey, what's that steam over the horizon? It's, that's my friend, is where everyone wants to go. How are we going there? With our help. Trust us, now that our building is done, you must you may just travel there and finish your campaign. Awesome. Steam Island available? What? Fifty gold, sixteen thousand three hundred and ninety five experience for the party. Travel to Steam Island, but I think first we are going to save. And now we will travel. All aboard the success boat. Mm. As you arrive, in the middle of all that steaming, a figure comes out. Nabe Gwell. Welcome to Steam, adventurers. This is the direct connection to the future. This wasn't supposed to exist in the pen and paper realm. Please, listen to it carefully. I promise to help you as long as you retrieve my magical curl bar. <laughs> it's been missing for so long, and I can't finish my project without it. It'll be a pleasure. Looks like we won't. Looks like he will help us today, but he will have all of our money someday. Yeah. Hmm, a little satire there for you. Wonder who Nabe Ghoul could be. 50 gold, 16,395 experience for the party. Collect the crowbar. Level 45 mission. Um, but we're gonna try it out. Crowbar is a mysterious weapon commonly used by a free man. I hope we can find it by the lake. I don't want to have to fight some crazy mage trying to conquer the world because of it. <laughs> it's actually in the frozen dungeon. Travel to the frozen dungeon and continue quest. Oh boy. If you remember, uh, several episodes back, we tried to fight in the frozen dungeon and we're pretty handily beaten by a very large mob of elites. So we will see how this uh, transpires. Because again, we might be in a, a bit of a rough spot. But luckily, a, a lot of our potions, I believe, held out for, uh, for the last battle at the portal. So hopefully, we may have some success here. Collect one crowbar and monster drops to continue your complete quest. Okay. Here we go. Since I'm a good master, I believe you might want to get... Uh, I couldn't quite catch all of that. And it's a fight. Ooh. This is pretty much what happened last time, I think. I ended up having to fight a whole mess load of... Uh, these not nice fellas.
We'll say that it, it while it does look a little more uh, dire, we are faring slightly better this time than we did last time around. But they really need to stop doing that kind of stuff. Can't be spending all of my time. Uh, relying on that regeneration. I need to be able to... Yeah, I was really worried about that. But we can keep them fighting. Make sure that... His battle continues. Mainly because we need him to kite damage. I'm not exactly sure why my cleric got skipped that time. This leader strike is going to keep all the attention on him for the time being. Continue with the circle of healing. Deep freeze that one just to get him off the, the playing field. better, although some face planting I didn't really care for. 16,559 experience for the party, 234 gold, and one small black stone. And we cannot rest in here, so that is definitely not a, a wonderful thing. point in time I did have some uh, better magic point recovery stuff. There we go. Have these guys eat a steak or two. And the 
final stake we'll have to give to our druid. Since we need to continue on. of Pac-Man ghosts. And we're gonna get his shield up first since uh, he does have a passive that gives him a greater threat range. So there's hopefully a, a good chance that he is going to, or all these enemies will attack him as a priority. Fingers crossed. And that should uh, all but assure it. gotten away doing a full restoration there on the uh, Paladin. But then again, I'm a big dummy. We'll use our Circle of Healing again in hopes that it'll... Uh, Bring our mage up a little bit. I'm actually at kind of a point, I don't know if it's going to reset the dungeon for me to travel out to Yoga Village, but I really do think that may be in my best interest to do. Just so I can adequately resupply. Okay, victory, 12,680 experience, small black stone fragment, and 160 gold. GG, well played. I think this kind of means it is time for us to exit the dungeon and uh, get our rest on. And then resupply, I think. But I think before we commit to doing anything further in the dungeon, we're going to call it for this episode of Knights of Pen and Paper. Um, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button down below, uh, as well as share it or add to your favorites, subscribe to the channel, um, leave any ca questions, comments, critiques, any, anything that you might have for me, I'd love to hear from you. Um, I can be found on Facebook and Twitter at the links located in the video's description, as well as you will find information for the uh, upcoming game from Behold Studios, Chroma Squad, 
Um, I will have links to the Kickstarter, their Steam Greenlight campaign, and their main site, which will give you all kinds of information about pre-purchasing and fun stuff like that. Um, with that, uh, this has been Knights of Pen and Paper. I'm Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming. <laughs>